Obviously, the play-in was not a goal, but it's now the reality. Sort of your thoughts on something very unique and a first-time experience for you and your players. Uh, you know, yeah, a couple different thoughts about it. Uh, this is our reality, uh, and you have to embrace that. Uh, this is a totally new experience for all of us. Um, it's not exactly where we wanted to be, you know, heading into this season, if you, if you go back to training camp. Uh, but that is totally irrelevant. Um, you know, we have uh, this in front of us, and it's competition, and it's, it's, it's great competition, um, you know, with a lot at stake. And, uh, you know, that is something to, to look forward to, um, you know, particularly with the competitors that we have in our locker room. Yeah, maybe this is the path, you know, for this group. You know, that, that's the way I look at it. Uh, we're a dangerous team. You know, we're finding our health. We're getting, uh, a, you know, a confidence about how we're playing. Um, and uh, it's not like, you know, for the the teams that have been in our groupings in either conference, it's not like it's been uh, smooth sailing for, you know, 15 or 16 of the teams. Um, so, you know, when you say you, you want to embrace, you know, this type of uh, competition and this opportunity, you know, that's what it means. It, it, it's it's competition um, at its highest at its highest form, um, and it's a new experience. Uh, that's the way I'm looking at it. You know, we've we've all, especially the veteran players, we've all experienced a lot of different things. You know, the playoffs, um, deep series. Uh, um, you know, uh, first round series. Uh, this is something. Uh, you know, different, um, and we're looking forward to it. Were the, were the, what were the takeaways out of the game for the players who played? What sort of stood out to you, or was noteworthy to you? Uh, yeah, you know, we were never really able to get our footing on this game, you know, and take control of it. Uh, and that was on either end of the court. You know, I thought we really started out uh, in the first quarter, moving the ball great, getting the type of shots that uh, we have been getting the last few weeks. Uh, and that, that deteriorated a little bit, and you do have to credit uh, Washington, you know, for that. Um, defensively, we were never able to, to really grab hold of it, um, whether we were in our man or our zone. Um, so that led to some, some frustration uh, and, and some uneven play. Uh, but the guys competed. It, it wasn't a matter of not wanting, you know, this. Um, we just didn't, we didn't play well. He is a, a, and I can say this about so many of the guys in Sioux Falls, uh, but um, Kane has a, a great spirit uh, about him every single day. Uh, he's a breath of fresh air. He comes in uh, wanting to work, wanting to get better, puts a smile on everybody's face. Uh, he has a way of, of competing and working with great intensity, uh, but in the moments in between, uh, he's just a great guy. He's, and that's why he has so many people rooting for him. You know, so much of this league for a young player is the right opportunity, the right timing, but also people rooting for you and trying to set you up for success. And Jamal um, has definitely got a lot of people in his corner. Eric Toronto just lost in Boston. It'll be you against Atlanta. You went 3-1 and one against him in the regular season, but so often we hear playoffs, postseason play in is a different experience. Your thoughts on taking on the Hawks again? Uh yeah, it feels like we just played them, you know, not, not only the regular season, but, you know, last year uh, in the playoffs. Uh, this will be a different format, you know, so let's go for it. Let's do it.